Meantime, the pressure is building in Washington. The House Financial Services Committee calling for a hearing into the collapse of FTX this week. And joining us now is the chair of that committee, Representative Maxine Waters. Congresswoman, it's great to see you again. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm pleased to be with you today. And I'm anxious uh, uh, to talk about uh, the fact that we, in my committee, have been working, uh, we've been learning, we've been planning, uh, and we're on top of the fact that we need to have regulations for cryptocurrency, and we're moving toward hearings on FTX. Do you regret the fact that it hasn't happened so far, and this could have potentially been prevented? Well, uh, what I'm pleased about is the fact that we are far ahead of uh, many other countries in taking a look at cryptocurrency. It is very complicated. Uh, we have members with a lot of different thoughts about it. Uh, but McHenry and I, the ranking member, have been working closely together uh, so that we could increase uh, the learning and uh, get many of our members to have a basic understanding about cryptocurrency, even though we started with stable coins and we're moving very rapidly on that, we too have yeah. been focused on creating roundtables and task forces to deal with what we have to do to develop re regulations of cryptocurrency. As it relates to this particular case, uh, FTX, you know, in that bankruptcy court filing, it was very revealing, I thought, and very details. One of, one of the details, one of the revelations is that Sam Bankman Fried himself, as well as two other top FTX executives, took direct loans from the affiliated trading arm, Almeida Research. D does, d should there be an indictment? Does, doesn't that sound criminal to you? Well, first, there should be an investigation. Uh, we believe uh, that there's fraud. Uh, and that citizens' uh, investments have been compromised. And we think that an investigation is absolutely necessary to really understand what has taken place with FTX. And if FTX is found uh, to have contributed uh, to the criminal activity that is being alleged, then certainly uh, they should be accountable. Do you, you know Sam Bankman Fried, right? He's, he's testified before in front of your committee, yes. hasn't he? Yes, and he was in support of regulations, which is very interesting because he never uh, showed any attempts uh, to deny that regulations were needed. As a matter of fact, he supported it along with other crypto uh, companies, and that's what we were moving toward. Well, he may have said that he supported it, but in... in, in communications that have followed. I don't know if you saw this Vox report when the, he had a DM conversation on Twitter with a Vox reporter where he admitted that the lobbying and the overtures to Congress were basically nonsense. And he used a curse word about the regulators and said it was, quote, just PR. So do you feel like you got duped here? Well, I have not seen that, but this is not uncommon as we deal with the biggest corporations in America, the biggest banking systems uh, in the country. Um, we oftentimes are told information that's not quite true. And so we understand that this does happen. We don't like it. And when we have an opportunity to deal with it, we do. When we can reveal lies that have been told, uh, disinformation, we go at it and we expose it and we make sure uh, that it is looked at in ways that could cause indictments. What do you say to the, the cynics that are looking at all those campaign contributions that he made, including many to Democrats, 40 million in the med midterms, which made it the Democrats' second largest donor, and, and wonder if there was an oversight and regulation of him and his firm because he was such an important donor to your party? You know, what we understand about uh, the election systems in this country is there are rules to give in donations. And when one follows those rules, uh, then you cannot object uh, to the fact that they give contributions and they follow the law in the way that they give them. Uh, but as I understand it, without the investigation having gone on, that there were contributions made to Democrats and Republicans. And certainly uh, those contributions may have been done in an attempt to influence. Uh, but of course, we have to deal with that as uh, regulators and 
uh, as uh, members of Congress uh, with the responsibility for oversight. And so we will be yeah. a part of what is going on with these hearings and investigations, and we will do everything that we can to expose uh, any violations uh, that were obviously made. Well, he gave half a million dollars to the to Democratic National Committee, and we just showed a number of your colleagues on the House Financial Services Committee that took donations from him. Should the DNC and your fellow lawmakers return that money? Well, uh, usually that's up to individuals uh, about whether or not they return uh, contributions that have been made.